Hello, welcome back to Zelda. So, as you can see, I don't know why this survivor is so scared. I don't think there are zombies. I guess we can let her stay over here in the middle of the base a little. <clears throat> now, my problem... Um, yeah, I don't think she'll be any helpful. Now, the problem is I need a lot of wood. And I don't know where to get the wood I need. Oh, wait here. Because I'm out of tools, so I guess I should have been a little more careful with my tool management. I guess I can drink water, a lot of water if I want. Also need another crossbow, and for that I need more wood as well. I guess I should make a wooden axe and... Oops. I should have made the hammer, okay. <laughs> it's so annoying that uh, inventory management is so hard to do in this game. Why do I say it's so hard to do? Well, because you have to destroy buildings, right? Uh, or other stuff, right? Well, it's almost useless. But the problem is, I need to farm a lot right now, and I don't want to farm a lot, but you have no other choice. Because I also need to start producing my own food. Well, I guess I should just make an iron mallet. Okay, we'll make the iron mallet because, to be honest, we need a lot of destruction power. I need to destroy everything that is a crate or a garbage can. And I also don't have any more space to leave stuff at home, so that's another problem. No, no. Oh, it's 8 p.m. Yeah, I'm a bit... Uh, oh. It's so easy to lose your... Oh, they are getting so lucky with their shots. Man, how can they get so lucky with their shots? I don't know. This game is not so hard, but I make it look very hard. Because I'm panicking. I shouldn't really panic, and also my infection is so high right now. <clears throat> we do have the infection medicine, so I shouldn't really worry about it. I have some extra bandages. So is this a wooden or a stone mallet? Oh, it's a stone mallet. I guess I should use my iron one. I guess the best way to do it is to spend your nights in houses to destroy stuff and in the morning just roam around. Hey. Yeah, it's the same as mine. Uh, or survi the survivors will also need them. I don't know what survivors can live or what which survivor can stay, but maybe they'll need them as well. I don't think that zombie can hear us. I cannot see a thing. What are we hitting, even? I mean, I guess we're hitting something. Yeah, let's finish this trash pile.
Okay, that zombie will come straight after me. I'm not sure if there is a flashlight or something similar because I haven't played that much. But I suppose there will be. One of the one of the more annoying zombies. Wait, why are there so many crates over there? Hmm. Okay, let's go back. <laughs> I saw a crate on the ground, we'll take the crate on the ground and then we'll come back to all of those crates. <laughs> ah, I'm out of sticks, I'm out of a crossbow, just try now. Okay, we'll destroy the crates until we find enough food to make the crossbow again. Yeah, this is a kind of a stressful situation. Well, yeah, more or less. I mean, managing my wood is such a problem in this game. It's like... I'm cursed. I'm cursed with very bad wood. I think this also does more damage and has more durability. Yeah, it does more damage and more durability. Yeah. Six crossbow bolts. That will not even be enough to kill two zombies. So I guess I should kind of make my uh, primary objective to search for a lot of these concentrations of loot. <laughs> but I keep finding concentrations of zombies instead of concentrations of loot. I don't know what I'm hitting. Oh, sorry, maybe it's too dark, but... Eh. Now you can see what I see. Uh, don't worry, I'll increase the gamma right now. Why am I like a ghost? I don't know. Okay, let's increase the gamma. Oh, now you can see much better than me. Yeah, the durability of this hammer is much better. <laughs> I don't think this is the stuff I needed, but okay, I'll take it. Oh no, that's a sand uh, box, sand crate. Pants. Well, I guess you have real pants now. I'm not sure if the food will be useful for something later. Probably it will be. Okay, now the next problem is that I need to start growing my own food. Yeah, he'll come for me very, very soon. Horse is getting... Oh no, it's just bright because of the street lights. Because we have electricity. I can't see anything. Oh, that's a lot of wood, finally. Exactly what I needed. Painkillers. Uh, 
I think this is the crate I saw. <clears throat> I think I should also repair more of the stuff that needs repairing. Because I want to drink water from a lot of other sources. Yeah, so I guess we cannot leave the, the hammer at home because of that little thing. I also have to be very, very careful of my mutation. Because if that hits 120, well, that's game over. Oh, jackpot, okay. So I guess this is the trash area, so I should look for areas like this. Yeah, like that, okay. We're not hitting anything. Okay, so now we are really, really learning. So, like I said... That's for defense and also some HP regeneration. Yeah, it's slow regenerating, perfect. <clears throat> I mean, you might think, well, bandages are easy to make, right? Well, they are, but you don't want to spend your time bandaging and doing other stuff. You want to do everything at the right time. Okay, it's daytime. Don't worry, I'll reduce the camo in a second. Why did I find meat in the dumpster? Or was it a vending machine? Huh, weird. And also, I think these trash piles are the best, in terms of loot. Well, not wood, but in terms of the other loot we need. Okay, let me finish the crates, because I need more wood. That looks like a bird mask over there. Or maybe it's just my imagination. I guess we can punch it with our super strong fist as well. But I have a sneaking suspicion that will take forever. <laughs> and I don't have forever. <laughs> mm, or maybe it's better to use a cutting tool with it. <clears throat> so I also have to destroy the cars. And the sofas for leather, because leather is needed for a better backpack, and will need a lot of leather. So we need metal for the farming tool. But we also need another chest, so we have another chest, so why don't we have... yeah. No, I guess I should just search the houses. I wish we could mark stuff on the map, like this house was searched already. So I know not to search it again. I guess I can leave the windows... Yeah, let's leave the windows and the door open. Why did the zombie leave? And why did the swarm appear over there? Okay. Those are not things I want to see or hear. <laughs> I guess we can farm that with our sickle. <clears throat> now before I go, I just want to get a lot more wood. I'm not sure what the best is. <laughs> what? I'm, I'm talking about wood for 15 minutes. This is hilarious. I will not... So the first 5 or 6 episodes of this playthrough I'll probably do only on camera and then I'll start to do stuff on my own. <clears throat> but I just want, kind of want people to see the how the grinding is, how the mechanisms works, how the loot appears, how the loot changes, how the zombies appear and how you fight them. I guess it would be faster with iron tools. Okay, let's 
Cut down one more tree and then we'll make iron tools and we'll definitely do everything we need to do in our base. Since that was one of the major problems I had, lack of wood. Yeah, it's going nicely. And then I'll probably play more of the campaign, but I think I'll have to play this creative mode until we see everything that there is to be seen. Uh. Just make me 30. No, not all. So I need 4. Okay, while well, that is doing its thing, let me build another chest. Ah, yes, we're finally advancing. Sometimes it feels like I'm not advancing at all in the game. So this chest will... I mean, yeah, that chest will kind of be the... Stuff I'll use later. Like the chips or what are these? The basic boards. The copper I'll probably use later. The leather will be there. The painkillers. The slime. I'll keep the infection medicine with me just in case. You never know when you're going to be a bloodthirsty monster. Salt? Well, I guess I... Uh, no, it's salt, Peter. I can put it over there as well. The problem is that I don't think the survivors will drink out of a... Uh, no, they will not. They will have to drink water from a bottle. I hope we can refill the bottle. Hmm. Okay. That should be enough. Oh, that's a lot. No. Didn't I get the salt, Peter? I mean the... The charcoal? What is the charcoal in my inventory? I don't see any charcoal. Oh, now I see it. What? Oh, it's not... Okay, whatever. Yeah, this interface is a little weird. I have to get used to it. Why am I struggling so hard with this? Okay, whatever. So the second one will produce all I need. Is because the okay. Okay, keep calm. We are uh, we have this under control. <clears throat> and also want to really start farming. Oh, the trader is all the way over there. Oh, I like this mechanic. But no, no, no. We have to solve stuff that is happening in our base. Yeah, this could be a little faster. Now the question is, how do I plant stuff? Oh, is that easy? Apparently, is that easy? I think the potatoes have to be sprouted in order for them to be... Um, farmable? I don't know. Don't ask me why I did it like this. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay, so now I hope nothing attacks our base. That would be a disaster. <clears throat> so let's put the wooden workbench over here. And this we can upgrade. We can upgrade it by having the metal cutter, wood. Yeah, we need a lot of stuff. So I, my goal is to go and make ammunition and some other stuff. So that's engineering. I think to make ammo we need to upgrade this. And yeah, we'll also upgrade that at some point. Okay, stay in the way from the workshop. <clears throat> the repair workbench might also be nice. Torch. Great to have at night. I guess I should make a few torches as well. It's annoying that it bypasses. So if you are near a work table or a whatever that is, you'll automatically enter its menu instead of entering your crafting. Which can be tricky. I tried. We really Okay, I was not playing on Fighting zone. <laughs> I was not planning on fighting zombies, but that stupid survivor brought a horde on my feet. Oh man, that's so annoying. My safe file is very very far away. Well, I guess I'll have to do that all over again. I forgot to save. Before you leave your base, you always have to save. You can see th there are a few problems with this type of gameplay. It's not really balanced. I don't think you should hurry, hurry, hurry. It's not that type of... I don't know. Maybe that's why people like Project Zomboid so much, because you can make things at your own pace. Here it seems like sometimes it's very good, sometimes it's very bad. Where did that survivor with that zombie horde came? I was just following the stupid drone and <laughs> the stupid drone usually sometimes, I mean usually has good weapons and good gear in it. And then I just died because I had to fight five speeders and you see the problem. The speeders actually outrange your maximum view range, if you understand the problem. So if they are over, if they are over here, I cannot see them shooting at me, and I cannot dodge. I guess I can dodge left or right. And also, I didn't die. I was turned into a zombie. Oh well. <laughs> I guess I'll come back next time with the same progress I did uh, right now. Probably will have the same event. I don't know, but I'll. Come back when I make the same progress as I saw as you saw in the video. Ah, it's so unlucky. It, it's it's such a stupid system sometimes. Because you have a lot of meters to watch and it's not always visible. They should just make this me they should just, they should have the icon and near it, it should be the number. I think I'll suggest that to the developers. I don't like seeing bars. Bars is a stupid way to calculate something. So if you know you're going to get five infection points from a zombie speed, then you'll play differently. You just don't know how much infection you get from a single zombie speed. Eh. 
Anyway, it's not so bad. I didn't lose a lot of progress. See you next time. Bye.